Police actually just put the robot dog into action during a recent standoff in Koreatown. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes shows us how it works and another new device officers are adding to their toolbox. Koreatown last week. An armed man keeping police at bay. A SWAT team on the ground, a chopper in the air. And a new tool being put to use for the first time in L.A. The quadruped unmanned uh, ground vehicle uh, was deployed. That's LAPD Assistant Chief Dominic Choi referring to this. <laughs> what many people call a robot dog. The $280,000 machine was added to LAPD's SWAT team earlier this year despite heated opposition from civil rights activists. Every state robot dog. Opponents worried the robot would be used disproportionately in black and brown communities. So the robot dog is very much a battlefront technology. I mean, you know, which can be armed as well, and the violence of these kind of tools continues, and the uselessness is so obvious as well. But LAPD says the robot will never be armed and is calling this first use a success. Because of the nimbleness, this tool is able to get to the position, recover one firearm, come back, go back, recover the second firearm, and then officers were able to safely approach this individual. But robot dogs aren't the only new technology LAPD is using these days. Over the past year, they've trained a handful of officers to use what's known as a bola wrap. Chief Moore even volunteering to show how it works. That's from December 2019. The department now one year into what it calls its Bowler Wrap 150 pilot program. Chief Moore last week sending this request to the police commission to extend it another year. Bowler Wrap executives saying more than a thousand U.S. law enforcement agencies now deploy the nonviolent tool as a way to safely apprehend suspects. It really just decreases the risk of injury, both to citizens, individuals involved, the officers themselves, and ultimately reducing the risk of liability. LAPD says Bola Wrap has been used 14 times during the trial period. That's 14 times officers didn't need to turn to a more dangerous tool instead. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.